I'm just waiting to see, um... I don't know, I want more side quests! I want to learn more about this wonderful, wonderful world. And I say wonderful, it's fucking awful! Let's, uh, let's have a little look around here. I know we gotta talk to that reed, dude. We ain't gonna do that yet, because we're gonna talk to all of the grave people. We're gonna do some debt collection and be an utter bastard. That sounds like a great idea. Also, give me a new haircut, please. Because the ones in the start of the game weren't all that cool. So we've got, like, the boring long hair. I want the cool long hair. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Absolutely. Physical hygiene. I'm we gonna rub you good. Hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. I hate you. Also, give me all your money. I could show you my hands. Let's not do that. Uh, do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet space <laughs> choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. You disgust me. Ah. Uh, prepare my remains for what? Burial, in the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Well, I got some questions for you, sir. Go ahead. Seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. You're all I fucking brainwashed. Work, not since the plague started. Hmm. What do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, Jesus! It is a shame. So it's curable and you're just letting them fucking die? This is horrible. Okay, why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us. So we treat the best among us. Whose idea was that? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. I meant to speak to him actually, a lot of people keep telling me that. Uh, I'm gonna go back Edward because I want to ask a to... different question. I... Yes, 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 sir, I know. Uh, what do you know about this plague? Ba -ba -do -ba -do. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Wow, I've never been more aroused. Sounds great. What you're describing sounds a lot like flu. <laughs> Whatever it may be, I have developed my own palliative. Boiled canid liver and a splash of ethanol. That all sounds horrible. Ah, uh, why don't you treat them all? We're gonna skip this just so we can ask about stuff that's monstrous. Nature is monstrous, friend. And this plague is natural selection at work. If it's natural selection at work, why aren't you dead? Look at your face. You just droop whenever you're talking to me. Look at this, hold on. Ah, I don't watch you droop please. again. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Now you're not drooping. Now, was I just boring you before? Boring you so much that your face literally fell asleep, you fucker. Ah, uh, you mean you're broke. I don't understand a word you said. Now, we can't look stupid in front of this guy. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I will have that arranged, don't you worry. Uh, you have a very loose definition of the word pros prosperity. Oh, that's some quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. Well, don't be so hard on yourself. I like two and four. I'm gonna hit two and four at the same time and see what happens. Please don't somehow go to three. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. You have medical- you're apologies. a barber! What is medical about this? Hang on, uh, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. Oh, that's why you're drooping. Law, and through my own hard work, oh. I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. But I want a haircut. 
I don't have time for that. No, just give him an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. One of your ears? Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Well, I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Don't know why I'm helping you out. You're a dick to me until very recently. Uh, so what is it? What, 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 what actually is our mission now? Comrade says he can't afford to pay his fees. Might be worth mentioning this to Silas. I guess it is. What can I do for you? I don't know. I want to suggest something to you. You sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? You sure are, kinda. I don't know, I have really bad medical skills. I don't know why it keeps letting me do this. It's letting me patch some people up when I've only ever seen, <laughs> like, one scalpel in my life. Ah, uh, I'm guessing you were trained at a medical school? So you prepare corpses for the burial. Pretty specific job description. Only if we use the term doctor loosely. I would say that, but I want to sound cool. I'm guessing you were trained at a school. Experience was my teacher. Experience and... So, you want to be an embalmer, brochures one through five, <laughs> courtesy of the Spacer's Who Choice Department these? of Career Development. Well, I'm looking to repair my ship. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. Feel free to look a I little bit outside. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You... Ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. I'm trying to save your life, you piece of shit. Your vicar, huh? Vicar Maximilian. Our man from the OSI. Here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church. Probably neglecting his duties. Our obsidian making fun of Scientology again. Uh, you don't seem to like him very much. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. Maybe because he's the only one who could think for himself. Go ahead. Can I ask? Yeah, I think we need to go talk to Silas and be like, hey, the dude's fucking broke. Can we help, can we help him out? Because uh, the town sort of needs him, no matter how much of a dick he is. I'm stealing from broke, man. I'm such a douche. Uh, Conrad. Receptionist, uh, who is this from? So it's from Phyllis. I don't think we've ever met Phyllis, so we don't really know what he talk he, he sounds like yet, so I'm gonna have to, gonna have to make this up on my own. Conrad, receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Oh, Phyllis is the scientist, hold on. Receptionist shot himself, this is bad. Company's going to have to call you, f call it for what it is. Destruction of space's choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down to his family or, or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We'll sell the teeth and somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? D don't write me back. I in fact, don't talk to me at all. Just, just give me a special signal. Next time you see me, waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Interesting. Give the dude his teeth. Uh, standard troop armor, hello. I would absolutely love to wear some fucking spaces armor. And people will probably like me too. So what percent percentage of weapons and armor you may find are considered pristine. More durability or worth more to vendors and potentially more, but I didn't read it in time. Okay. Ooh. It's medium. I don't like that. I like light armor. But... It'd be pretty cool to wear this right now, right? I mean, I imagine we'll have these dudes on our side. No matter how much I dislike them. What can I do for you? Hey, I read about some teeth. I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as, collaterals, as collateral for the graveside fees? You know about Eugene? How? You left a note directly in the other room. Uh... None of your business. You probably heard it from one of our local gossip mongers. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave.
I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I feel like you've done worse. Uh, ask for forgiveness for the vicar later. Oh my god, I'm so cool. The good vicar Maximilian and I have never quite seen eye to eye, but your point is well taken. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Hey, we did it. And we didn't even have to get you killed. Perfect. I mean, I guess saving your life um, in exchange for a dead man's teeth is probably worth it. I, I don't know. Morals are hard, man. So the canteen is over here. I want to visit all sorts of stuff. I want to know everything, dude. I want to go visit the, uh, the general store as well because we desperately need stuff. Who might you be? Julius Morrow. What a badass name. Hmm. I can't really go anywhere here. You just got shit I can steal right out on the counter. It's not Let's the best talk. choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Gourmet sounds better than deluxe. Uh, I have some questions. Go right ahead. It's very rare to see a black ginger man. What happened? No, um, what's your take on this place? Any, I, anyone I should watch out for? Or so about this plague that's supposed to be going around? What's your take on this place? What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's uh, No, but I can go probe you in the other room if you'd Couldn't like. Be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. Hmm. The blister on my ass is prettier than Edgewater. Uh, you can't be serious, no one in the right mind would want to live here. I'm glad you're optimistic or telling yourself that won't make it true. I mean, you're clearly lying. Probably because you're being watched, so I'm just gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna say telling yourself that won't make it true. You are condescending to me, and I do not care for it. I am lucky to have my work, lucky to be alive. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Uh, actually, there was. Go right ahead. Anyone I should watch out for? Other than yourself? Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong, he seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth, knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. <gasps> what a monster! Why would anyone want to be here? Okay, so about this plague that's supposed to be going around. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. I mean... Are you done being delusional, or should I wait? No, is there a reason you feel like you have to hide what's going on? You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. Hmm. All right, well, uh... What do you mean by that? Survival of the fittest. It ain't just the law of nature, it's company policy. <laughs> Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's Choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. Uh, and if you don't work hard enough? Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch, and you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Hi, right, Julius. Well, I need to fix a ship. You know where I can find parts? You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Well, that is something I can definitely do. Let's you see what you've actually ears. got. Shut the fuck up. Ooh! Impact hammer! Too bad I absolutely suck with anything melee at the moment. What's this? Heavy weapons? We don't have heavy, wep heavy weapons, but that's a light machine gun. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like it's worth buying guns at this stage. And they, what the fuck is that Maxwell? Just a weapon called Maxwell. I love it. Mechanics over overalls, junior grade. Ports of call. Good armor. And it's light. But probably not worth the money. We don't have very many bits at all. Uh, what can I sell? I can sell all this random fruit I've picked up. Ah. Hmm. 
What do we have shitloads of? This tuna? I feel like we might need it though. Pre-sliced bread, fast ration pill. Yeah, let's hold on to it for now. There's nothing I feel like I need from you. So, I guess it's time to continue <laughs> extorting people for their grave money or whatever the fuck's going on. To be honest, I feel like we're doing it in the nicest possible way, if it is possible to do that in a nice way. So where's the general store? Where do we come from? I get really lost in this place. So there's the barbershop. General store was there. That's the cantina. So I guess next order of business is whatever the fuck this is. There are so many buildings you can go in. And this is a goddamn jail? Hello, Constable Reyes. A lot of people have told me to talk to you. But I don't remember who. Reed Thompson. Reed Thompson. Everyone wants us to talk to Reed Thompson. So what the fuck was I meant to say to Reyes? I don't remember. Maybe she was the person I needed to pay if I, uh... To pay for being a dick. Oh, you're wanted! For various crimes and violations of board policy. Including any and all of the following. Sedition. Don't know what that is. Forgery. Conspiracy. Conspiracy to commit conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Unlicensed medical practice and destruction of board property. Well, he sounds like an absolute fucking Welcome riot. To Let's the talk. Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. Don't you look the exactly the same as the other girl Purchase who told us to come and see you? And the fourth one's free. Hmm. Purchase three in criminal investigations. The fourth one's free. What the fuck do you mean? Purchase. Can I work for the fucking sheriff? This is pretty cool. Questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Oh, I love the dialogue of this game. Okay, does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? Actually, no. Who do you work for? Space's Choice or Edgewater? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. <laughs> I don't care of Edgewater. Edgewater is <laughs> the entire region of Emerald Dale serves Space's Choice. Oh, choices. you're great. I love you, Obsidian. Um. Okay. Don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater in the entire re uh, region of Emerald Vale serves Spacer's Choice. Okay, so you're basically a bureaucrat. No, who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. Mm -hmm. Also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. Been asleep for 70 years. Leave me alone. Uh, so you're basically a bureaucrat. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. You're such a bitch. I really don't like you. There was this one other thing. Something to report? If you need help with your marauder problem, I'm fired. That suit told us about you. As a spacer's choice constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder. She actually did mean bringing your fingers. Okay. Finger Fistful of digits. Dust off the old fingerprint roller. Do you just not do anything then? As luck yeah, I'm gonna ask you a few more questions. I wanna know about Phineas Wells. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Uh, probably not a good idea to say we're friends. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Looks like there's a bounty on his head. He kidnapped, unfroze my body, and shot me into space, and I landed here. Let's not... Let, let's not say we know him yet. I want to know why he's got a bounty on his head. You are correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas B. Wells. Hmm. If the board's paying, I'm willing to collect. He's actually, we're acquainted. I am obliged to warn you against forming acquaintanceships, friendships, partnerships, or any felicitous relationship with a wanted criminal. I am also obliged to inform you of our referral program. For every criminal you refer to the authorities, the board will reward you. Okay. Um. How long has he been on the run? Wells has been wanted for as long as the board decides he has been wanted. This decision will be made in accordance with Wells's behavior upon arrest. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy as Spacer's choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. But I don't wanna! I like the guy! Alright, so who do I have to talk to? Or I assumed you were my nearest board authority. I represent Spacer's choice. Spacer's choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. I'm already unbelievably confused. Also, I specialize in processing fingerprints. 
So unless you're carrying Wells' finger on you, there's not a lot I can do for you. Well, I mean, I don't know what he did to me while we were asleep. He could have been fingering us. Maybe one just got, sort of got stuck inside. Happens to the best of us, you know? Well, who am I going to talk to? Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford. What a terrible name. Poor Mr. Bedford. Udom. Uh, Groundbreaker, huh? That sounds pretty cool. What's that? Halcyon's original colony ship, now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Something else I can do for you? Uh, I don't think so. It was good talking to you. Thanks for the mission. Oh, use terminal. You just allowed me in? When life gives you lemons, consider it a free trial from your friends at Space's Choice. Uh, bounty records. Open, please. What the fuck is any of this? Guillaume Gil Antrim. Oh, is that what Gil is short for? Guillaume? I never knew that. Well, like, Gillian, I guess. Gilli Gil Gillian's an... I, I don't know. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Not gonna read this because it doesn't seem like we can do it in terms of a mission. Hmm. I want these bounties. Give me these bounties, please. Huh? Just carrying around money? Oh, wait, no. Let me talk to you. Something to report? You didn't stand up last time. What's so special about this time? Yeah, I, okay. It looks like we can't just ask for bounties. I don't know how that works. But this music, man... Really pretty. I'm really, really. I don't know why. It, it's sort of Almost lost a not even necessarily face. fitting. I know how you feel. But it's gorgeous. It really sets like a lonely, really, really lonely atmosphere. Right, give me those water tablets. Someone doesn't seem like anyone wants those. Oh, you're the insane guy. Never been healthier. I don't want to take your money. I'm gonna feel really bad about this one. Am I detected? I know you're, like, insane and everything, but I'm really poor, so I'm gonna take everything you own. Thank you. Um, shit, that was probably the money you needed to give to, uh, what was his name? Silas? Silas, there we go. What do we got here? Now, I'm gonna let you keep your tuna. I don't really need that five rounds of heavy ammo. What the fuck are you gonna use that for? Did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You poor bastard. I want to help you. Uh, you want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? I mean, if I don't, you're likely to murder me. So, uh, so you're Martin Abernathy, huh? Naturally, I'm positive you mentioned something about being plagued. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Well, uh, why not? Well, you should sign over your door or something. At least cover your mouth now. Why not? She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, <laughs> ain't ya? I'd do a good turn for an expiring old man. Gladly, buddy. I don't want you to die. You seem awesome. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Okay, well, not so fast. I got some questions. Let's go with that. I'll do what I can. Why can't you just buy some yourself? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. And what might that acceptable margin be? You don't seem that bad. It just looks like you've been bathing in pepper spray again. I mean, come on now, Abernathy, you don't look a day over 90. <laughs> in other words, the company won't treat you because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. Well, I assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. They count as guards. 
What can you tell me about these marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. I've heard enough. So I'll do it. Do it then? Fuck yeah, buddy. I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Oh, not the spleen! Okay, ah, da da da. You're taking an awful risk trusting me, you know. I'm here to collect your fees. Anything I should know about the community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. <sighs> what if I say this? I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Well, I guess, unfortunately, buddy, I'm gonna have to be here to collect your fees. I don't want to do this to you, but... Uh, I, got, I got, don't really have any choice. I need money. <laughs> Does, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see your payment. All right, well, I'll leave you be, buddy. Oh, that's why I was confusing um, who Phineas was, because there's a dude called Phyllis, which is exactly the same name. Uh, oh, you've got a little back area over here. Should I be trusting you? You got any documents I can read? No. Why have you got such a big place? Increase your carrying capacity? Ooh, that's good shit. I definitely want that. Bypass shunt, definitely please. Other than that, you haven't really got anything. Except a massive fucking house. And some starbursts. What the hell is that for? Do love eating starbursts while I'm taking a shit. Can't exactly blame you there. I am? Excuse me. Why? I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. That's cool! I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Of course not! What gave you that idea? <laughs> Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. I've seen it in his eyes! Look at him, he's dying! He's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Hmm. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about that. Alright. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. And we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. I get it. You need someone to smuggle your medicine under the table. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of lawbreaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. See, the issue here is she's also got really good intentions, and it might be a case of, uh, sacrifice one to save the many. I mean, he is clearly ill, but she wants to use it to help out shitloads of people, you know? Which is a very noble cause. And I would- I, I want to save as many people as I, I can, you know? But... I also don't want to sacrifice the poor old man to do it. He's such a cool guy. I really liked him. I don't want to let him die. But, oh no. I couldn't have come here and been able to fix the, do the, the robot's nav systems, could I? And sided with the mechanicals. That would have been awesome. Body counts at a discount. Jesus. Trouble ticket, blah, 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 blah. Steps to reproduce. Turn on engine. Try it again. Try it again. Kick the loader. Curse injured toes. <laughs> I had to enter, enter a minimum of eight steps. Try it again. It makes a rattling noise. Damn it, Clancy. I just got back on your feet two weeks ago. Not that you got feet, but you know what I mean. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Clancy's guts got caught and pulled out. Likely on account of someone tr somebody trying to restart him over and over again. Need to rewind all the coiling. Number four. Alright, um... This is funny. I like this. There we go. I, I love that there's just so much effort put into the things that not everyone's gonna read. Hell, even I didn't read it. And I still got like a- oh, that's great. Got a kick out of it. Um, what do we got here? This is a workbench. I was wondering if maybe I could follow those instructions, but where the fuck am I? 
I thought this was a tiny little area. No, it's massive. It's got all sorts in here. A toss ball blocker. I mean, I can use that to upgrade something at some point. Absolutely, I'll be taking that. Where am I? This isn't the tower, is it? The cannery tower? Because it's the only building we've been in, or one of the very few buildings we've been in, that has multiple stories. So what the hell is going on? Are we going to meet Mr. Reed? I wasn't actually ready to go see Reed. I didn't want to do the main quest yet, but looks like we might be coming down to that. Open last search. Indema... Ind Indemadi? Indema... Indemadi left Edgewater today. She's been reassigned to Terra One. I kissed her goodbye and at the platform and asked if I'd ever see her again. We both knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me. As I'll look up and think of you. Robert, they wouldn't let me keep her. But I know you will raise her with love. Perhaps more than I would make time for. You are patient and per present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Pavadi. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you, but she was actually born on July 7th. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. And Marty. And welcome, Hol Robert Holcomb. Uh, enter a keyword for record search or hold down control all F7 enter to compose a new <laughs> entry. Young Space's Guide to Mechanical Engineering, I guess. I sat up last night reading through the Young Space's Guide. Almost started reading it out loud from habit. It's been ten years, but I still have parts of it memorized. Reckon I'll take the next volume into work at the cannery. There's an unused office where I've been taking my lunches, and I may as well read the whole thing again. Interesting. Who the fuck are you, Robert? And who is this daughter of yours and potentially wife who just went off into space? Why do people believe that it's like a fantasy to own a, a, own a ship or something? It, like, it seems like it happens here. How is it kept so very under wraps? Or maybe it isn't. I, I don't know. It, it seems strange. Maybe some people don't believe in it and some people do. And maybe it's brainwashing. Who the fuck knows? I, I don't get it at all so far, but I'm excited to find out. Music box. We're 13 whatever. Oh, I didn't even play the little noise. That was adorable. And then we get to hear the lovely, lovely dulcet sounds of my legs snapping in half. I wonder how easy it is to cripple limbs in this game. Because I, I, I don't know, I, like, I really like the crippling limbs aspect of Fallout. It just, it adds a little bit more tension to, you know, I mean, obviously you've got regenerating health, but you can't just regenerate a broken bone immediately, right? It, it makes things a little more interesting. What do we got back here? Aha! I've been looking for you for fucking ages. Thank you. Tons of heavy weapons too. I'm going to start carrying around my assault rifle again. Looks like I'll be able to use it. Those were some... Fashionable glasses there, sir. Well done. Now where are we? Saltuna, Emerald Vale of Terra 2. And a shitload more terminals we can read. They're fucking massive, aren't they? Um, logs. 